we have probably just under a million dollars in million? debt. A million? Okay, how much of that is a mortgage? The mortgage? Welcome back to another reaction to some Dave Ramsey, some Caleb Hammer TikToks, and a few others. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. If you guys like this content, do me a favor and hit the like button. It lets me know I'll do more videos like this. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you're interested. I put out financial videos, reaction videos, all that kind of stuff. So that would help me out a bunch. I appreciate you guys. Let's go ahead and watch this first one. I drive a car like no one else. All your friends are making fun of you. And then when you buy a car that's worth more than they are, you can say, how do you like me now? You're going to pay a price to win. You're either going to go through some crap and deny yourself some things in order to get to where you want to go, or you're just going to live in mediocrity. There is a price to be paid either way a life of mediocrity or the life of a champion because you paid a price to win the game. It's the hallmark of people who are emotionally mature, the ability to delay pleasure. Most people don't have it. That's why we, you stand out like in a wonderful way when you have it. People that can delay pleasure, they, they can stay away from the donuts. I've been working on that one and it's hard for me, but I like donuts and I haven't had one in a while. You look good. Thank you. You do too. Good. Camera adds 10 pounds, so yeah. don't go off of that. <laughs> drive a car like i think that's actually really important because everyone wants to seem rich and like now like even my friends you know a couple of years out of college everyone is trying to show like oh look how well i'm doing and it's like we're fresh out of college we're not supposed to be doing well right away you know there's a building time so i actually i agree with this one i think this one's a really really good point to make thousand dollars come in last month um i got my irs the tax refund this because of the ch crazy. child tax credit yeah because you have children yeah how many kids do you have i have three so you got such a big refund because of them i'm sorry i am going to put you on blast at the beginning um you blew it all yeah what the f happened so when 10K. i got the child tax credit i well, I, I essentially meant to pay my mother-in-law back for... Mother-in-law back? Yes. You're married? No. I mean, she's like, I'm dating my boyfriend. Oh, uh, she's we've been dating for five years now. Okay. I just call her that. Sure, 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 sure. Yes. What do you owe your mother-in-law for? So she, whenever, um, back in like 2019 or 2020, um, I had racked up credit card debt. And she, she still actually, okay, sorry. Sorry. she had actually offered to pay it. And so she loaned me six thousand dollars, and I paid her back for four thousand of it when I got the tax credit. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I'm not like, ooh, okay, let's consolidate debt, let's go through bankruptcy, let's go do all this, let's have someone else cover the debt until we fix our behavior problems, because you are in debt. Yes, you do exactly. This is a big point for me too, and this is the same thing with people. Like I, I've made the mistake of loaning money out to people. And it just never works out. I've never heard of a successful story of loaning, especially friends. It's terrible. Don't do it. It's not worth it. That's going to be, that's tough. It's a very kind of her boyfriend's mom, but that's just, that's insane to me. Okay, so this is when I added in. It's a TikTok trend about these graduates and what their degrees are in. And it's. Oh. Hi, my name is Kayla. I'm a graduate from NYU Gallatin. And my concentration is economic inequality in the U.S. and Caribbean. Period. Spiritual healing. What school has a degree for spiritual healing? Hi, my name is Elio, <laughs> I and I in black storytelling. Like, okay, okay. I'm genuinely curious about that one. Is black storytelling, is it storytelling about black people? Or is it stories from, like, being told by a black person? I, what are you, I, I want to see them apply for jobs. Hey, my name is Gabby. My concentration is called... I mean, too specific, but that one has potential. Exploring colonialism is not going to do anything for you. No one can. I mean, maybe. Period. That's the best one so I'm far. Alexia and my concentration is creativity as communication. Calm. She's going to work as a receptionist or she's going to work in HR. It's communications. How the arts act as a language outside of verbal communication. Period. Wild wild i have a history degree and i thought it was useless but then i started reading some of these my the comments are so funny so funny brain rot oh cool what are these majors how do you work with these majors that's key is this real our future baristas <laughs> it's just wild some more dave ramsey advice i was with a guy the other day who is worth about 200 million dollars and you know what he's invested his money in farm land he's a rancher it's what he knows. 
I said, you don't have any money in mutual funds? Nope. Don't like that stuff. Don't understand it. Not putting money in it. Well, that's not sophisticated, Dave, said a guy who has a tenth the net worth or a fourth the net worth or one one jillionth the net worth that that guy has. He's got $200 million. What you have is an opinion. Put money in stuff you understand and you're comfortable with. If that's all you ever do, you're going to be fine. Okay, I don't. I actually don't agree with this one because the thing is, I don't know about farmland. That, I'm not saying that that guy's not rich. My point is, if you don't understand something and you reach out and make an attempt to learn it and still don't understand it, then I would agree with Dave. But if you don't understand stocks, if you don't understand the stock market and how it works, learn it. It's it's so much simpler than people realize, and there's not even a lot you have to learn to be successful. So, I mean, this isn't financial advice, but if you just bought the S&P 500 over the last 30 years and it, and it continued to compound like it has, I mean, you'd be set. So I don't agree. You need to learn and branch out and learn new things. I'm not saying everyone should learn farming, but with something as huge as stock market investing, I think that's pretty important. Stop checking the box. McDonald's, Raising Cane's, Asian Bistro, Nike. I'm going inside and getting some bullshit. McDonald's, Dutch Bros, Church's Chicken, L. T.O. Meet Mark. <laughs> Guys, what are we doing? We have 22% debt. We literally couldn't afford our minimum monthly payments. And we're going 22%. Going to Wingstop every second of our life, what is actually happening? That is unacceptable beyond belief. I uh, part of my paycheck to that credit card for food. You can't afford it. It's just a portion of it. Yes, uh, it's, like, it's a portion you cannot afford. And we just leave the rest for the bills. I love when Caleb's voice gets high. Oh my! You're the one that wanted to come on. I do not know what to do. I don't know what to do. If we're at the point. Will you literally think going out to eat is even somewhat okay in this financial situation? I don't even know what we can talk about at this point. Wingstop, Wingstop, no, check the box. Understand, and this is a generational thing because fast food's become so much more prevalent than it used to be. I mean, 50, 50 years ago, you didn't eat out often. Like my parents growing up did not eat out often at all. It was like a special thing, but now we're used to it. Now there's cheaper options. You used to be more expensive. Um, even though now it feels like it's more expensive, but still it is a privilege to eat out, cook food at home. I've calculated some of my, my meals that I make at home just for myself. I can keep it under like $3 and 50 cents. It's not easy, but I can. And it saves me because even Taco Bell at the very, very cheapest I can eat at Taco Bell is about $8. So it's still double than what I can make at home. And the food's better. If you want to get out of debt, you got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. You got to decide I'm not playing the normal person's game anymore. Les Brown, the great motivator, says people change their lives when they finally say, I've had it enough. I'm not doing this anymore. That's when you'll change your life and not until. If you want to get out of. Mm, I mean, Dave isn't my kind of speaker. That that video, I should say, um, but you do you got to get fed up with it. If people in the comments, it, people either love or hate Dave Ramsey, literally. Just file bankruptcy um, halfway there. Nice. I want more debt. Um, only start paying your debt off when the government does. Yep. Just yeah. People either love him or they hate him. The comments in this one are already so funny. So I need you to stop using the word mature. Why? This is very upsetting. I'm not immature. We just view things well, differently no, no, no. than you. Well, 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 Amazon, Chipotle, Spotify, don't need to listen to ads, even at the discounted student rate when we are in debt and can't afford that. What, Spotify? Yeah, dude. What do you mean? It's 10 bucks a month. It's really all right. You know what's not all right? What? $75,000 of student loan debt. I understand that. It's not 75, but I understand that. 69, you're right. Should I, should I save the 120 a year? And yeah. Okay. Because if you scrape together 120 a year here, 120 a year I here, 120 that. a year here, it's the small things that usually... I understand that. Yeah. It's typically the small things that are hurt Americans' finances sure. like the most on a month-to-month -month basis. So sure. But, 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 but I want to, like, enjoy my life, you know? It's really not that bad. Aren't you delaying more than anything, though? The f true enjoyment of life. True enjoyment of life is not stressing about extra finances. This one's true. They go on for a little bit, and it's kind of the same thing repeated. 
this is interesting. Some of the, some of these are so funny. Can't listen to an ad. That's the thing. Spotify premium just gets rid of the ads. So, and it's not, it's not people in the comments are mixed. Um, this is very, you could buy a house if you stopped eating avocado toast. That's one of the comments stating that Caleb is wrong saying that the, this person's life choices are, are not what got them here. It's the situation that we're in for everyone that's young. And this is such in my opinion, such a stupid way to look at things. And I understand, you have to understand that there are differences in what the generations have faced. The boomers had it very different. You could buy a house with a lot less money. The market wasn't insane like it is today. He made less money, but there were different problems they faced as well. I'm not saying that ours is the hardest. I don't know. I've only lived in this one. But still, financially, it's harder now than it was then based off average salary and, and whatnot. But... This is a very privileged thing to think about. We live in a different world than they did. We have different opportunities. We have a lot of things that cost more money that they didn't. 50 years ago, they weren't paying for Wi-Fi. They weren't paying for cell phones. They weren't paying for a ton of things that we pay for today. So you have to realize that when you're looking in at this. So there are things you have to cut out of your life. And it's stupid to think that we can all live the life that we want and still be able to buy a house. So these comments piss me off they really do piss me off and that mindset really pisses me off this person can just cut back on certain things that's what caleb is saying he's not saying you can't live your life he's saying you still have to be responsible and get yourself out of the position they put themselves in this was not this, the government didn't give them sixty nine thousand dollars in debt this is my wallet i have green president's faces in it which are accepted almost worldwide four pieces of plastic in here my debit card for my personal account, my debit card for Ramsey Solutions when I'm doing something for business, my driver's license and my handgun carry permit. Said that in California the other day, almost got arrested. It's um, good to be back in America, but, um, but the, uh, you don't have a credit card? I haven't had a credit card. You're not special if they gave you a credit card. I mean, I, we literally, a week after we filed for bankruptcy in our mailbox was the opportunity to get a credit card. So this is just ridiculous. So no, but we said, no, we're not borrowing money anymore. The borrower is slave to the lender. This is my It's so funny to me. I understand the borrow, borrower is slave to the lender. Credit cards aren't necessarily slave, slavery in what he's saying. If you're good with a credit card, it is phenomenal. You get cash back, there's rewards, there's certain things you can do. Dave's audience is typically people that are terrible, terrible, terrible with money, and so I understand this. But still, using a credit card wisely, you can make so much money. I even did this, so I used to work a little contract job and I'd be driving a lot, and they reimbursed me for gas. And so they would reimburse me at a crazy rate for gas. And so what I did was I opened three credit cards that all had opening bonuses where if you spent $1,000 in the first month, you would get like, some of them were like three, $400 extra, right? Because they want people to spend. So I would do that. I'd spend the money on the card. I'd get my extra 100, 200, 300, 400, whatever I said. And then I would just pay off the card and you're set. So it doesn't, it, I made, I made like $1,000 doing that within like an eight month period. And it was crazy. Never had a problem. Still have the cards today. Don't really use them. Um, no outstanding debt with that. So I, I don't understand. I understand the hate from Dave with credit cards, but I don't think that is something that everyone needs to worry about. This is one of the worst ones I've ever seen. I can't. I'm so sorry. He fits the persona. And then on here, buddy, it's 126 from Twitch. Oh, and then another $249 dollars from Twitch. The f are you doing on Twitch? This better not be to the virtual versions of. So they're just twerking ass, and they have their live stream on their ass because they have green screen booty cheeks. Okay, first off, it's more wholesome than that. Second off, I'm a Sigma male. I can just go to a strip club and get some booty that way. So I don't need only fans or... It's not getting booty. It's looking at booty, to be very clear. Well, you get to touch it. You it's... do? Yeah. As long as you don't put any fingers in any holes or you bite them, you can touch bite? them. Those are the two. Bite. <laughs> Hole finger. Yeah, you can't lick them. You can't bite them. You okay. can't put fingers in any holes. Good <laughs> fuck. Stop being such a deviant. What, what do you watch on Twitch? Because... This... So, so this only... that so. The Twitch only was three separate dollars, three separate incidents of four hundred dollars. Yep, go ahead. So what I would do? There's uh, what's his name? Like Pirate Soft or whatever. Anyway, what? It's a streamer. Okay. And I would just go onto YouTube and just crash his UI with uh, donations. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's only happened three times. Because he's getting money, but it's crashing. 
So I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's entertaining for me. No, is it good for him or bad for him? I don't know. Do you have no empathy? I think I got empathy. Your little cheeky little smile. It is beyond <laughs> interesting. It's not the word I wanted to say. Sexy? Absolutely not the word I wanted to say, which is why you have to go to strip clubs. So the first instance was... You spent $400 to virtually have fun. So in- I can't even listen to all of it. Total of 1500 over the course of when? 1500 over when? This month? No. This previous no. statement? No, it caps out at 500 Per month? Yeah, per day. Then that didn't f***ing negate what I just said. So 1500 this last month? So 500 December, I think January, February. What, what does it do? It makes me feel good. No, what? Is- oh my gosh. I can't- what does it do? Just explain it to me because I'm a little uh, stupid. So, so, so when there's a live stream, yeah. there's memberships. Oh yeah. You can donate memberships yeah. to other people. What I would do was go on, spend five hundred dollars, and give like two, maybe three hundred people memberships. They'd immediately leave. Okay, I'm so confused. He's just talking about crashing it. It's probably something the creator does. You auto crash it if you donate so much. They get people to donate, thinking they're messing with them. I cannot even believe this. People who donate to streamers, and I understand it if you love a streamer, you watch their content all the time, but they're making money off of you watching it. Most streamers that have, if if you're donating to a streamer that has a million subscribers on any of their platforms they are making significantly more money than you no matter what do not donate this is an old repeat but a good one we have probably just under a million dollars in debt okay how much of that is a mortgage the mortgage about 210 so you have six hundred thousand dollars in what 335 in student loans the rest is really credit cards and personal loans so you have three hundred thousand dollars of credit cards and personal loans. About one hundred thirty-six thousand in credit cards. I have to stop for- there. I understand forty-four thousand in personal loans from a parent. Who knows? One hundred thirty-six thousand dollars in credit cards is astronomical. Like if we calculate that, one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. I'll do it on here. I'll let you guys even see one hundred thirty-six thousand. Um. And we're going to multiply that by a rate. Let's say they have a good credit card rate and it's 15%. They're paying $20,000 a year. A year for that. If I did my math correctly. Yeah. $20,000 just to keep your debt. And it compounds against you. So they, they probably should have filed for bankruptcy. That's what everyone's saying here. They earned $230,000, so they could get out of this relatively easily. But it's just, this one's absolutely insane. It makes me sick to my stomach. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please like the video, subscribe, and let me know you want more down in the comments. Let me know which video is your favorite. If you like Caleb Hammer, if you like Dave Rams, if you like the other ones, let me know. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.